Since the Independence Day shootings in Highland Park, there are renewed calls for a ban on assault-type weapons. And earlier today, Highland Park's mayor joined senators in Washington during a hearing on gun violence. And WGN's Shannon Halligan is joining us now with more on that part of the story. Yeah, Highland Park is front and center in the debate over gun violence. The Senate Judiciary Committee hearing today was titled, After the Highland Park Attack, Protecting Our Communities from Mass Shootings. Survivors of the Highland Park Independence Day Parade last week marched for change. For the first time in two decades, this topic is getting attention. March 4th members like Aubrey McCarthy are demanding action to ban assault weapons. The Highland Park shooting left seven people dead and dozens injured along the parade route. The group's efforts helped bring about the Senate Judiciary Committee hearing Wednesday. Our belief is this is not a political issue. It's a safety crisis and we're here to be loud to ban assault weapons at the federal level once and for all. Highland Park Mayor Nancy Rotering pleaded with lawmakers during that hearing. My gosh, how much more needs to happen before this obvious action is taken. We know that there are mental health issues in other countries throughout this world. We know that there are troubled people who are inclined towards violence. What's the differentiating factor? Combat weapons and access to civilians. There's no place for these weapons. The suspect charged with seven counts of murder in Highland Park used a high-powered rifle that he purchased legally. It's a weapon that Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth said does not belong in civilian hands. The armor light Rifle 15 and the semi-auto successors it spawned are weapons of war. From their portability, accuracy, rate of fire, ability to penetrate certain body armor and ease of reloading. The Senate committee chairman, so. Illinois Senator Dick Durbin, called the AR-15 a killing machine. But whether a ban will happen, that's to be seen. I wish the members of this committee treated it with the seriousness to actually ask what stops crime and stops murders because the political solutions this body has put forward does not do that. Republicans on the committee argued the focus should not be on the guns but on the people committing the crimes. But when it comes to assault weapons, combat weapons and what they did in Highland Park, are we ready for this conversation? I don't know the answer to that. Now, House Democrats have begun considering legislation to ban some assault-type weapons, but the bill seems to have little chance of becoming law due to opposition in the Senate. Thank you, Shannon.